everybody, it is I, Big Al, once again, and welcome to the first official Big Al Rants for this new channel. Can you fucking believe it? Been doing this shit, <clears throat> been doing this shit for almost two decades, and it's still exciting whenever I debut the first Big Al Rants for a new channel. So, we're going to talk about the Mario movie today. And just for the record, I haven't seen it yet. It, 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 it just came out in theaters. I haven't seen it, but I've been hearing all the buzz about it. Critics hate it. Uh, normal people enjoy it, which seems to be a pattern. Anything that's even remotely enjoyable, critics seem to hate. Whatever. Uh, they're, they're not real people. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. So, we're not going to talk about the movie per se. Um, we're going to talk about... Uh, the, the reaction to uh, the final teaser for the movie that was that was dropped, I believe, yesterday. And that is, uh, and as I've stated before, I'm not going to show it in this channel because I don't want to get copyright fucked, but I will share a link to it for full context. Basically, uh, Illumination uh, posted a, a scene from the movie where Princess Peach is like, hey, if you want, if you want to join my army, you're gonna to have to learn how to fight, and I'm gonna show you how it's done. And she could, and she has an obstacle course. She completely aces it. She fucking ninja warriors her way throughout the entire obstacle course, and people are upset. Can, can, can you take a, a wild guess as to why people are upset? Time's up. Apparently, this means she's a Mary Sue now. Princess Peach is a Mary Sue. And I, I've touched on this in my last video with Jason, and that, it, like, people saw her swinging the halberd around, and, and that was enough for people to be like, oh, I can't believe they made her woke. Um, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. If you, if you look at, like, the comments underneath, the majority of people are like, yeah, fuck yeah, get it, Peach. But there's... Quite a few that are like, oh, they made her woke. Oh, they made her a girl boss. Oh. And the, the popular one is, why is Mario even there? If she can clearly, if, she's, if she can clearly handle herself, why the fuck is he even there? And I have two answers to that. Uh, just by seeing, just by, just by going what I know from what was shown. Uh, one... His brother, Luigi, was kidnapped by Bowser. And she's teaching him how to fight. Because, you remember, this is an origin story. This is an official out-of-water story. Mario is not this super, you know, super badass that we know him from the video games. He, he literally just got there. He is a fat fuck from Brooklyn that works as a plumber. He has absolutely no fighting experience whatsoever. But he, he shows up, doesn't know anything about this fantastic world. He thinks he's tripping balls. He, he doesn't know what the fuck's going on. And then his, he finds out his brother, his younger brother, is kidnapped by this dragon sorcerer fucking thing. And he has to learn how to fight. Of course he's going to... It's the hero's journey. You know, it, it, they're playing up every classic trope. Hero's journey, fish out of water. You know, and, and of course she knows how to fight. It's her fucking, it's her fucking kingdom. You know, of course, like, I'm so sick of this fucking discourse, right? Where it's like, oh, a strong female character. Oh, it's Mary Sue. And it, it, you want to know what's funny? Even Vito, who was infamous for shit talking the new Star Wars movies because of Ray, um, even he's like, "What the fuck are you people talking about? She's not a Mary Sue. She, she she runs this bitch. Of course she knows how to fight. Of course she knows her like it's her kingdom. <laughs> like of course she knows how to do this shit." And I've said this before in the video with Jason, and I'm going to say it again. If this, if you think this is out of character for Peach, 
you, you don't play the games. Like, you've never played the games. There have been plenty of instances. And that goes for people, and that goes, again, to people who, who are also like, oh, finally, Girl Boss Peach. There have been plenty of uh, instances in the Mario universe where she has held her own or, and or she is anything she she's something other than a damsel um you know super mario super mario rpg uh super princess peach um this you know what this is this is the super mario brothers adventure comic for those who are too young to, to know uh this was released let's see beginning and it says right here this was a nintendo power they had an issue they would every um, beginning in January 1992 and running through December 1992. The final episode was printed in the, in the first issue of 1993. Introduced Mario's alter ego and tormented childhood playmate Wario. So there were there were 12 issues, and it ran in Nintendo Power for for the whole year. Let's see. And it's heavily it's heavily based off of Super Mario World. And what's great about this comic book is that despite being this despite originating in the early nineties, nineteen ninety two, it shows so much character and world building in in just in just a few pages. And what's crazy is that this was several years before Mario would make his three D debut at Super Mario sixty four, and yet the trait the the character traits that we see in in Mario and Luigi and even Bowser that that are shown in this comic book uh wait let me let me let me rephrase that the character traits that we know from Bowser Mario and Luigi uh, that we would have that we would see in the later games and in games today um were shown here well before the, those specific character traits were established. So Mario's headstrong. He he's smart. Like he's headstrong. He's the first one to run into danger. Luigi's hesitant. He's cowardly. He's naive. Uh, Bowser's a fucking showboater. <laughs> like everybody's raving about Jack Black as Bowser, saying that he he absolutely stole the show. He raps in the very beginning when he shows when Bowser shows up. He raps with the Koopalings about how he's going to take over the Mushroom Kingdom. And he blackmails Princess, Pe Princess Peach. Or I'll, this is in the 90s, so she's known as Toadstool here. Uh, she, he, he blackmails her by saying, Hey, if you don't marry me, I'm going to turn all your people to stone. And he does anyway. <laughs> like, like, whoops, slip, slip, whoops, I slipped. Like, he is, Bowser is an asshole and a showboater. And he's larger than life. And you can easily picture Jack Black reading every single one of these lines as Bowser. But the most important thing, and the reason why I'm bringing this book up, is what they did with the princess. Now, there are certain... Let's see. So right here... I mentioned this before. So right here. Mario is among one of the people turned to stone by Bowser. Princess Peach is pissed. Says, we can't just cave into him. Where are your spines? And then Mario's turned to stone. Everybody's crying. Luigi's crying. All the toad, all the toad retainers are crying. Louis, uh, Princess gets fucking flames in her eyes and says, don't write us off yet. I, for one, refuse to be bullied. Bowser, you buckethead, Put up your dukes. And then Bowser slips down the pipe that he entered in. She jumps. Look at this. She fucking jumps out of the castle. Flies down. Lands with perfect precision. Calls an army. And then fucking chases after him you know for for what he did to Mario and that's not all so later on we find out that she's been trekking the desert 
let's see. She eventually gets kidnapped. You know, she 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 and her troops get overwhelmed and she gets kidnapped. Now, here this this is great. So there's a scene. She's hiding in the jail cell. All the Koopalings are like, where the fuck is she? She drops down from the ceiling with a fucking rider kick. Roundhouse kicks them all. Charges, to, charges out. Locks them in jail. And then Wendy shows up with an army to kidnap her back. But she runs away. Let's see. She runs away. <laughs> with the, And then the Koopalings, you know, sit, look at this. Roy charges after her. She, she She's like a matador. Like, oh, hey. Like, he goes crashing through a wall. She's got a cape. And she's like, fuck this. She, well, she falls out. And then she's a bad, she's badass with the cape. She's flying around like it's nothing. Like, and there's one more point. There's one more point I wanted to show. So she eventually loses control, falls with a thud. Luigi's there. She's like, "Oh shit, what are we gonna do?" Uh, Mario's been kidnapped. Mario's the one in jail now. So Luigi, while she's sleeping, switches clothes with her, which. There's an implication there I'm not going to talk about. Switches clothes with her so that he gets kidnapped. You know, pretending to be Princess Peach. Pr uh, pr the princess is wearing Luigi's clothes. Let's see. Da 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 da. Luigi's like, oh, you Koopalings must be hungry. Why don't I order a pizza? And they're like, they're like, fuck yeah, pizza. They they order. He orders a pizza, and it happens to be Toad and Yoshi in disguise as pizza del delivery drivers. And then she leaps out of the pizza with a bunch of bombs. And uh, she's like, I'm gonna blow the fuck out of all of you people. A fight ensues. And this is great. So she keeps saying, she keeps saying, you know, so she's like, I'm going to blow us all up. And, and Wendy's like, and Wendy's like, go ahead. You do realize that you're going to be blown. I'm sorry. The camera angle's fucked. She's like, you do realize you're going to be blown up too. And then Princess Peach is like, I'm okay with it. My sacrifice will be worth it. And she does the fucking, oh! She does the fucking he may laugh <laughs> when he's like, "You, you're fucking insane." What, like, what the actual fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> they blow up the castle. So the point I'm trying to make is this whole Mary Sue bullshit has been around since the goddamn '90s. Now, granted, this isn't canon. And it's a mishmash of all the, of all the Mario games up to that point, but it presents Princess Peach clearly more than just a damsel in distress, and and this is what blows my mind. Okay, so people for some reason, sorry, it's itching my, to make my head itch. People for some reason have this notion, have this thought process that Japan is like this super alpha Chad nation. Where, where SJWs go to die and that anything even remotely progressive uh, doesn't even exist and if it does exist is the result of western meddling and yet here we have a book from Japan written and illustrated by by Japanese manga by people who, who work in Japanese manga in this is 1992 Showing princess, the princess being far more competent than the Super Mario Brothers. This shit isn't new. And another thing that blows my mind, right? So people are bitching that, oh, they made her woke, they made her a girl boss. People are bitching about that. I remember vividly, like it was yesterday, when Anita Sarkeesian 
did her Tropes vs. Women in Gaming series. And her one of her first targets was Princess Peach. And she was talking mad shit about her, saying, oh, she doesn't do anything, she's useless, all she is is a damsel, just scathing, like, absolutely scathing, absolute scathing bullshit about Princess Peach. And people came to her rescue, saying, no, Anita, you're wrong. She isn't a damsel, you're full of shit, she's been in plenty of games where she's competent, um, she's a badass Amari RPG, uh, people brought up the comp people brought up this comic book series. You know she's playable in Mario Two, and of course she can, you know she came up with excuse after excuse. Oh, Mario Two doesn't count because she's just a sprite swap, and and uh, she was never meant to be in there anyway because they didn't. But they had but they threw her in there as an afterthought because they didn't have any other uh, iconic because there there wasn't any other established characters at the time in the Mario universe. And, uh, oh, well, this one doesn't count, it's not a main game. Like, excuse after excuse after excuse, right? And and she hated Super Princess Peach. She has her own game, like, she finally has her own game. <laughs> and she's like, oh, well, it doesn't count because it offends me because she uses her emotions. So it's a PMS joke. So, but people were, d like, laying on the ground to, def like, to, to save Princess Peach. People were taking the fucking bullet for Princess Peach. And saying that Anita Sarkeesian is a fucking dumbass that doesn't play video games, <laughs> clearly doesn't play super, clearly doesn't play these games. Otherwise, she would have known that she's anything like she's anything besides a damsel, right? And now we're on the flip side of that. You know, it's it's the year twenty twenty three, the year of our Lord twenty twenty three. The Super Mario Brothers movie has been released they, they they showed how what kind of character the princess is going to be and she's an absolute badass and everything that the princess was previously described as is now a bad thing now it's a bad thing that she's badass it's a bad thing that she's assertive it's a bad thing that uh that she's not useless these people are so, what's the word, fickle. They flip-flop, and I don't understand why. This, see, what this discourse has shown me is that people don't know what the fuck they want anymore, right? Because years ago, when you have some idiot feminist, like, talking shit about a beloved video game character, you would have people, you know, jump into that video game character's defense. And now that same video game character is getting lambasted by the people who defended her. And it's just... It, it blows my fucking mind. These people do not know what they want. You know, this, this, culture war this culture war bullshit is infuriating me. Because, I mean, it, it, like I said before, it's even like it's starting to piss off Vito. Who talks shit? Who, who made who made his name out of shit talking Mary Sue's and shit talking the Star Wars the Star Wars sequels and shit talking the character of Ray and Rose and and uh, the, the 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 idiot pink haired captain I can't even the, the Holdo or Holo whatever the fuck her name is <laughs> right like he he became infamous because of those videos and now. He's like, wait a minute, she isn't a Mary Sue. You people are just, you people are fucking idiots. And that's my stance. You know, if you seriously think that they they turned Peach into a Mary Sue, or they made her woke, or whatever fucking horseshit starts spewing out of your mouth, then you don't play these games. And you haven't played these games. You, you, you sure as shit haven't read the comic. Because if you did, you know that she's doing the exact same fucking shit that she was that she was shown to do in the in the in the little snippets from the movie. So yeah, that's really all I got to say about it. Uh, I do plan on seeing the movie as of the recording of this video. I do plan on seeing it this weekend. Um, and that's about it. So until next time, everybody. This has been Big Al over and out. Thank you so much for watching my video.